and I welcome to our deep dive into the food and beverages manufacturing industry. Special Skill Worker Category 2 Examination Guide. For many students, preparing for this exam can be a challenge, especially when resources are limited. There's a significant gap in available information online, making it harder to find clear, concise materials to study. But fear not, this video is designed specifically to help you navigate through this topic with ease. Whether you're aiming to gain a deeper understanding of the manufacturing processes or looking for essential textbook English translations, we've got you covered. Let's break down key concepts, terminology, and essential skills that will help you excel in your exam. Stay tuned as we unlock the knowledge you need to succeed and become a proficient specialist in the food and beverages manufacturing sector. At the end of the video, there's a quiz to help you recall what you've learned throughout the video. The quiz will first display the text in kanji only, as this matches the format used in examinations. Afterward, Ruby text furigana will be shown for reference. Let's get started. また飲食が原因の健康被害が起こることを防止するための管理手段を規定する食品衛生法という法律があります。食品衛生法は食品の安全を確保するために必要な基準や表示、検査の方法を定めています。また、食品表示法など食品についての情報を表示するように定めた様々な法律があります。管理者は仕事に関係がある様々な法律を理解して守らなければなりません。One laws related to manufactured foods. The Food Safety Basic Act is a basic law that outlines the way to think about ensuring food safety. There is also a law called the Food Sanitation Act, which regulate management measures to prevent the occurrence of health damage caused by food. And beverage. The Food Sanitation Act establishes standards, labeling, and inspection methods necessary to ensure food safety. There are also various laws, such as the Food Labeling Act, that demand the requirement to display information about food. Managers must understand and obey the various laws that are related to their work. Why do all food labels look the same in Japan? Here's a bonus point for you. Have you ever wondered why all food labeling looks the same in Japan? Well, there's a reason for that. Food labels in Japan are strictly regulated by around seven different laws and acts, including the Food Sanitation Act and JAS law. These laws ensure that consumers get clear and accurate information. Now, for your basic knowledge, here are some of the key things that must be included on a food label in Japan. Product name. Ingredients list. Allergy. Allergen information, which we are going to study in details later in this video series. Net weight. Expiration date. Storage instructions. Manufacture and contact information. Nutritional facts for some products. Selling price. Resin identification code. Thanks to these strict regulations, shopping in Japan is more transparent and safer for consumers. Next time you pick up a snack, take a closer look at the label. It's packed with useful info. Stay informed, eat smart. 2. 健康障害健康障害とは体に有害なものを含む食品を食べたことが原因で主に発熱や下痢などの症状が出ることです重い症状には以下のような例があります1後遺症が残り最悪の場合死に至ったりする
洗剤や殺虫剤などの化学薬品が食品に入りそれを食べて中毒症状が出る3食品の中に鋭利なものが入っていて食品を食べた時に口の中を切ったり内臓を傷つけたりする体に有害なものを含む食品を食べたことが原因で生じる健康障害が起こらないようにすることが重要ですただし食べ過ぎや飲み過ぎでお腹を壊したり下痢をしたりすることは一般的には健康障害とは言いません2 health problems are caused by eating food that contains substances that are harmful to the body and mainly cause symptoms such as fever and diarrhea examples of severe symptoms are listed below 1 if after effects remain and in the worst case scenario It can even lead to death. 2. Poisoning can occur when food is contaminated with chemicals like detergents or insecticides. 3. Consuming food that contains sharp objects may result in cuts inside the mouth or damage to internal organs. Preventing food related health hazards caused by consuming food that contain harmful substances is crucial. However, stomach discomfort or diarrhea. Caused by overeating or excessive drinking is generally not considered as a health hazard. We're about to begin our quiz. These questions are designed to help reinforce everything you've learned today. Keep in mind, they're different from the ones you'll encounter in exams. The quiz will first display the text in kanji only, as this matches the format used in examinations. Afterward, Ruby text furigana will be shown for reference. Feel free to pause the video if you need extra time to think. Hope you are ready. Let's begin our quiz. Mondai 1. Shokhin no anzen wo kakho suru tame ni hitsyo na kijun ya hyoji. 検査の方法を定めている法律は何と呼びますか1食品表示法2食品安全基本法3食品衛生法正解は3番です問題に食品の安全を確保するための考え方を示した基本的な法律は何と呼びますか1食品表示法2食品安全基本法3食品衛生法正解は2番です。問題3次のうち一般的に食品を食べたことが原因で生じる健康障害ではないものはどれですか1化学薬品が含む食品を食べたこと2鋭利なものが含む食品を食べたこと3食べ過ぎや飲み過ぎで出る症状正解は3番です。